Hi there guys, I'm Danny, this is Zoe. Ready babies? This is Zoe, and this is the first video of how to train your lemur. And train your lemur because Zoe is my psychological support animal um, for my schizophrenia. And you probably already think I'm crazy because I train a lemur, and she's my best friend. Um, Zoe was a rescue initially. I got her when she was five weeks old. Um, she's changed my entire life. Uh, I ended up, when I got sick, I ended up uh, losing my marriage, my business, pretty much everything. Um, it's, it was difficult, it's a lot. Um, Zoe uh, just happened to come into my life. Um, she was <clears throat> black market traded, um, ended up in a bad situation. Um, some of you just didn't know what to do. Um, when they end up getting her and end up putting an ad up when her mother died and didn't really know how to take care of her so i ended up adopting her five weeks old and feeding her from a baby and uh she's been my best friend ever since as you can see um she's very friendly loves people and now that she saved my life uh, she gave me a new reason to to get up in the morning and uh to keep fighting uh, schizophrenia or not um and so now I go to law school at California Western School of Law for animal rights. Um, I have a goal now of saving what's left of the lemur population in the world because of her. Um, just so everybody knows, off the top, Madagascar is home to pretty much all the lemurs in the world for the most part. Uh, right now, their habitat's been taken down to about 5% of what it initially was just due to deforesting. Um, and unfortunately, this is not something that's going to stop. They have small reserves over there for, for small groups of lemurs that uh, live upon those area reserves. But locals still um, uh, kill them, eat them, uh, take them away from the others and keep them separately in cages, uh, trade them onto the black market um, where, you know, people will cage them, have them in bad situations. I'm not saying that all animals that um, that are um, maybe purchased in some manner or another are in bad situations. I'm just saying it does often happen with lemurs, unfortunately, because it is a lot of work to train them and it takes a lot of love and a lot of uh, consideration and care every day. Um, it's not a it's not a process where they can be left alone. They're not a loner creatures. They're social um, and they love people. Given the opportunity, uh, like so here. Um, who we're gonna show today that uh, Zoe, we're gonna show what she's capable of. She's very young, she's only seven months old. Very curious. Zoe, right here. Okay, let's show them that you know how to eat. Thank you, baby. And if you can see, I taught Zoe how to use a spoon. She's not the most proficient in the world yet. She's getting there. Okay, Zoe. You get some more on there. Will you take it? Oh, will you hold it properly, please? Thank you. And that's how to train your lemur 101. That is spoon training your lemur. This is Danny and Zoe. Talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys.